It is a new day, a new morning. I am very, very glad to have woken up this morning and that all the people I love woke up also. And yeah, today is going to be a different day. It always was going to be, although the vibe was meant to be slightly different. My friend has a concert that she is performing at today and I'm going and excited to to see her perform and to celebrate her i've been wanting to go and see her live for a while now but the timing just wasn't lining up and so this is the first performance i'll be able to go and see for anybody who doesn't know already go check out sophie castillo music she is just amazing and has a beautiful voice but also just an excellent energy and yeah i'm so proud of her so that was today's motive however since obviously the events of last night um my day is not going exactly to plan. I am going to get started um, probably just reading the Quran, leveling and bar balancing my thoughts for the day. I might also read some of the Old Testament. Those texts have been really feeding me for a minute now. And so, uh huh. Um, what else? Then I'll probably play a musical instrument of some sort and just take the day slow. Because even though the concert's in the evening, I am going to go and see my friend just a bit before that. Who I just want to go in and check on her and make sure that she's taking the news well. And yeah. Then next couple of days is probably going to look a little bit different. I'm not sure how different, just because I will get back late today. Not sure what tomorrow will look like. And in the evening, I'm going to try and make the drive down to, um, I guess, like a little pub link up that some of my friends are doing to celebrate my friend's life. And so, yeah, it means that I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my time. And that my practice is going to look slightly different. However, I'm excited to see how I can be flexible with this change in time and change in plans. And like, yeah, find pockets to maintain practice, even if that is just me and I'm the vessel for like my meditation and my mindfulness. Um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but... I think a challenge that will like give me a good measure of the practice and the work I've been doing before. I'll try and de be derailed as little as possible because routines are very helpful for me. Um, however, I don't want my routines to become like a safety blanket or a crutch that make me avoidant for life rather than just able to show up as my best self for life. And so, yeah, my throat, my voice is very hoarse. I am going to go do a netty rinse, read my book, pray, um, rest a little bit before I have to get ready and go out. It's raining outside. Honestly, I wanted to dress up today. Like I was saving this as a day to really like go all out. But now I just don't even really feel like it. So I'm going to see how I feel and just take the day from there. So I've just finished getting ready. I'm about to leave now. Um, honestly, today's been a bit of a dud. Like I've just been taking it slow and trying to, I don't know, take things at my own pace, take everything in. And also, yeah, I don't know. Right now, I'm just a bit spaced out. Um, I don't really know what to do with myself. I don't really know what I'm doing with my time like what I'm doing with my days and I feel a bit disoriented and I've been in like a very split mind um when I go through things like that are destabilizing I really like to cling to some sort of routine or normalcy or just set goals for myself that I can work toward because it helps me cope or deal with or feel like there is something coming from what it is that I'm doing. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Right now, all I really wanted to do is work out and um, 
draw and just not bury my head in the sand but it kind of feels like that in the sense that like I just want to work and go into myself and be on my own and and just focus on something and block the rest of the world out but I also know that I don't know that that's a necessarily good thing I don't think it's a bad thing but I don't know that it is a good thing and I want to be there for the people I care about I want to show up um and like keep my commitments and yeah I'm just so disoriented I really don't know what to do with everything where to place myself how to like plan my days and it is just like overwhelming me a tiny bit and so yeah I did want to pull out I did want to you know not flake necessarily but just send a message saying look I can't make it today some stuff has come up but I don't feel like that would be the right answer either and I don't think even though it feels like I could distract myself with my work and all the things I'm doing I don't think I really can and I don't think that that's a better use of my time than seeing people that I care about and like cheering them on even if I'm not in that energy still showing up for them in that capacity and so yeah I'm gonna go I might leave early if I'm completely honest but I'm gonna at least see my friend's performance and cheer her on I'm gonna film some of it for you guys because I'm sure she's gonna be amazing and yeah it will be good to show that and then what else I can't really I can't really think of anything I will keep you guys updated either when I get home or wherever it is that I am it's super dark outside already so I'm sure you will not be able to see me if I try and film outside but yeah I will do my best and I hope you guys are well I hope that whatever you're doing today that you had a lovely day and that if you're not you can believe that better days are on the horizon and they're just waiting to come and meet you and yeah i'm gonna get going now because if not i'm gonna be late In a <laughs>
a very nice oh there she is affirmation of the past days the events that have happened and you know everything that is so yeah i'm gonna check in when i get back home i still have some things to do like yoga and tomorrow's gonna be a busy day so yeah i'm gonna get my train though and get warm because it's freezing so it is just gone past 1 a.m i have been home for around i would say an hour and a half i ate something quick and then since then i've literally just been sitting here like this um with my aloe vera and my lemon drink <sighs> anyhow yeah. Um, I think I just needed some time to process and decompress. Is that the word? Decompress, de-stress? I don't know. After today. Um, I'm trying to prepare mentally as well for tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so much going through my mind and at the same time nothing at all. It's almost like I have no thoughts. But I feel all my thoughts around me. And it's like borderline claustrophobic. I've been realising like the past few days have really pushed me in, I wouldn't say it's the most amount of pressure I've ever faced or like a threshold that is unbearable, it's definitely not. But it has been a challenging few days where I'm trying to juggle all of these things and perfect all of these areas and aspects of my life. And I guess you only know the true measure of yourself when you're faced with a challenge. Like if everything's going good, you don't know how much you've grown or how much you still can grow or like you don't ever have a chance to challenge yourself and test your your scope for evolution and so yeah normally when life gets difficult i have had this habit of i wouldn't say being avoidant because it's not necessarily avoidant but i've definitely used my practices and my my form of disciplining myself as a way to hide from reality and um, it's a mixed thing because there used to be a time where things would go wrong in the world and I was trying to fix everyone's problems. And then I came to realise that that's not going to work. It hasn't been working for me. In fact, it's breaking me. It's ruining me. And I need to learn to give something to myself. And I need to learn to show up in this world as myself. And in order to do that, this practice was born and I got myself better and all of that. But I almost took it to another extreme to where because I was so afraid to overextend myself and repeat history and all of the consequences that I paid for being there for everybody else more than I was for myself I went to the other extreme of just something bad happens I'm there to support I'm there for other people but not necessarily present and I, I kept myself to myself and I would just double down on my practices and give myself a new goal to, goal to work toward and would kind of tell myself that like this situation's gone wrong that means you need to work harder that means you need to focus more and sh like work harder to escape real not reality but like if everything is wrong and these practices can make them right then even though things are going wrong and that's painful i, I can't be distracted by the thing the fact that they're going wrong i need to double down and work harder so that i can keep myself upright and keep in some twisted way by being okay i would be able to be okay for other people or create a reality that was okay that i could bring them into and I know that's not how life works and yeah um that was based off of a whole load of things like not knowing how to trust people and let people in and being okay being there for other people but not really being okay or sure of how to let them be there for me and so yeah um now I'm at a point where in the same way I've realized that in order to become a fuller version of myself and the fullest expression of myself and the best expression of myself I have to devote myself to certain practices in a certain way of living that if I also want friendships and if I want whatever I want in life, I have to commit and devote myself to those things also and prioritise them. And so where before me hiding and pulling back um, was working to my advantage because I was learning how to be there for myself, I have come to see and come to realise how it's actually to my detriment because if you don't show up for people and you don't allow yourself to be open to people and give yourself wholly to people not just be there for them but let them be there for you and all of you know be there with people not just be there for them but be there with them when they're going through things you lose that you lose a certain sense of community and camaraderie with them and something that I want is not just to have friends not just to have people around me that I love that feel like family or our family but to have a real sense of 
fellowship and camaraderie and like spiritual connection with the people that I care about and love in my life and that we are joint in some kind of purpose not necessarily a job or a chore or a task but like that we see each other fundamentally and we understand each other and we individually or together want something for ourselves or for the world and we work together like our friendship is based in that not just in laughter or like what film did you watch did you hear what happened here but just like a deep thorough understanding and appreciation and love for each other and so in order to make that something that is present in my life I also need to be there for people and show up for them and it's a kind of long way winded way of me explaining like today there was a moment where because of everything that's happening because of the fact that the pressure and the fact that I haven't been feeling myself the past few days everything was just mounting the only thing I could see and think and focus on was the fact that I need to be there for myself right now I'm in self-preservation mode I have these practices to do I need to skip I need to do I need to pray I need to eat I need to do this I need to look after my hand I need to draw I need to blah, 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 blah. and I almost found myself in a position where I was going to cancel going to see my friend in concert or um just like even cancel going to see my other friend who is going through a similar thing to me I think we were both in a place to be fair where we were not feeling super social today and we just needed the day to recover but even just stopping by and like she was feeling a bit sick giving her some tiger balm <laughs> I'm such an auntie I gave her tiger balm and aboniki aboniki is like the Nigerian version of tiger balm or the African version I don't know if it's necessarily Nigerian but I think it is and so yeah like giving her that just checking in on her actually giving her a hug seeing her before tomorrow when like, I'm going to see her tomorrow, do you know what I mean? So I'll see her again. But just doing that whole process, it meant that I wasn't just there for her and saying, oh, you can call me if you need anything. Like, I'm actually there for you. I'm in front of you. I'm with you now. Do you need anything? Or, like, not just saying that my friend would have wanted me to be happy and to laugh and to live life to the fullest, but actually showing up to celebrate somebody who is doing something amazing with their life, who has been courageous and bold and fearless and is reaping the reward of that and like actually showing up to be there for them in their moment and be like I'm proud of you I'm here to celebrate you and I see you and I love you and like well done there's a huge difference and so even though it came about in a challenging way and the circumstances are not ideal I'm glad that I had the opportunity to have that challenge today that I didn't just stay in my comfort zone or do the thing that was self-preserving but that I challenge myself to show up in the world and bring all of the, the fruit of my practice along with me, if that makes sense. And yeah, that's something I'm very grateful for. It's something I'm very happy about and proud of. I think all of these practices are beautiful. I've said this definitely before. I'm not sure if it's on here, but all of these practices are beautiful, but they are useless and pointless and wasted if they are reserved for you alone. Um, the whole reason why me being a better version of myself is important to me is because when I show up in the world, I want to give that love back. I want to be a source of love and I want to be a source of, of just joy for other people. And what use is it me doing that practice and then keeping it to myself or just staying in that practice and improving and improving and improving but never putting it to test? It isn't. And so, yeah, I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful to myself for showing up and pushing myself outside of my comfort zone in a big way. Um, and I hope and pray that this is something that just continues and continues and continues. Um... Yeah. I think as well what's what's slowly happening is that I was in a place for a long time where as I was saying before I was there for people so much that I had enmeshed a huge part of my identity and my personality with I was a chameleon like I was whoever people needed me to be for them but I wasn't ever able to receive their love or receive from them so I never gave them all of me and they never had the opportunity to genuinely know me or be present like be with me and so coming from that coming from situations where in my past like I've just I have a lot of trust issues and I have a lot of um I don't always trust people or find it easy to open up for people or find it easy to forget letting them be there for me like you will never know that anything's wrong with me I'm to myself and it's made me a more I wouldn't say it's made me more reclusive because I, I do have just a very ambiverted personality and I go back and forth between wanting to be outside, wanting to be extroverted, spontaneous and go adventure and then wanting to be very insular, reflect and read and just do more introverted things, not be around people at all. And that is quite, that that is true to me. But having those trust issues, having those traumatic experiences with people, it definitely changed the way that I move in social situations and social environments and over the past few years where I've been changed 
not changing, but I decided to become a truer reflection of who I feel I am inside. That led me to change physically, um, like how I show up in spaces, the things that I do, what I spend my time on. And that reflected um, into who I was around. And just when you change, sometimes you can no longer be around the people that you love or you care about, regardless of how much you love and care about them, because you're just different now. And the thing that brought you together no longer, you don't have that in common anymore. And so with all of that happening, with all of that happening, I have just had a couple of years where I've been very isolated and very lonely. And not that I didn't have friends, but I didn't really have that community and that tribe for lack of a better word around me and I still don't but I feel myself slowly coming out of that and the more I love myself the more I show up for myself the more I embrace myself and get comfortable being who I am regardless of if anyone is there for me if anybody sees it like just yeah I like I've been alone so literally it's to the point where you can try and be something because you think someone's going to approve of you or it's going to help you be accepted and all of these different types of things but I've been so alone and embraced that solitude to such an extent that I am just very comfortable with who I am now and I show up more fully as myself and since that started to happen I've realized that I have just attracted or along the way met and sustained friendships with people who I hope and feel like will be in my life for a very long time and the way that I can tell that is because it doesn't take effort um, and I don't feel fear or any sort of lack of security around them. I feel very comfortable with them. And I think with that, how can I explain this? When you have that with people, it allows you to drop your guard and start to think, okay, these people I can actually trust. These people I can be safe with. These people are not going to hurt me. They, they don't, they won't intend to, they might, anyone might, but they're, they're not intentionally like, they don't have it out for me. I can begin to let myself think of them as a friend or welcome them into my space. And the moment that that happened, and then there was more time that passed, and then I've worked on myself, I've gone through periods of overextending myself. Um, I didn't overextend myself with them because of the time that I met them. And so now I see that they just want to show up just because they like me. They don't ask me to explain my absence or my reclusiveness or my odd tendencies, my odd habits, we can be very different, but they accept me anyway. That's given me some time to reflect and think, okay, some of these coping mechanisms, some of these detached or avoidant ways of being, if you continue doing that with these people who have shown you that you don't need to be like that with them, you're going to push away that sense of community, that sense of belonging that you have wanted for so long. And even though a part of me, I think, will always be lonely like life is a lonely experience do you know what i mean nobody can ever fully understand you or fully know your mind they can get close to it and be very close to you but ultimately it's still you and your experience um i feel like having met these people and gone gotten to this part of in my journey i can now see that and acknowledge that if i do want friendships the same way i show up and devote myself to eating healthily working out you know this whole practice that I've cultivated for myself the same way I do that because I want that to manifest into a bigger expression of that in years to come is the same way that I have to invest in those friendships and in that sense of community that I want to come and so when I say I don't just want to be there for people I want to be there with people in order to have that sense of camaraderie for a long time I, I didn't think it was going to happen for a long time I did it I was alone so <laughs> despite the fact that I may have had people around me or friends or whatever I was fundamentally alone like nobody saw me nobody understood me they weren't there when things were really getting deep and maybe that's my fault because I, I blocked them off but I feel like anyone I blocked off was blocked off for good reason when you feel comfortable to let that guard down it happens and just as it's happening now it feels effortless or it feels like your idea and so to get back to the point I think what I'm trying to say is like I'm starting to get to a point where maybe that season of loneliness in terms of actually being alone, not just ha like having this solitary experience of life, is coming to an end. And part of me showing up in this way today shows how much I've grown, how far I've come, how much this practice has benefited me to the point where now I don't think I'd have to consider somebody my friend to want to show up for them or be there for them. Um, obviously the vibe still has to be right and it has to make sense, but it's more of a thing where 
I can carry with myself all these things I've learned, all these things, all the character that I've built up within myself, and I can bring that to any situation. If the person chooses to abuse that, that's on them. If they don't, then we can continue to grow and we can continue to share and I can be vulnerable enough to open myself up and let you see me and we can have a moment and you can show me you and we can grow and build and based off of that, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, today was a moment of me, I wouldn't say not putting myself first, but not not putting myself first in a way of self-preservation and instead putting myself first in the way of feeling like, okay, you do have value to people. Your presence does matter to people. Give them the gift of that. And they have value to you and you want companionship and camaraderie and fellowship and a community, a tribe of people to love and to understand you and all of these things in the future. So give yourself to them the same way you would want them to give themselves to you. And even though it's not easy for you at the moment to be open and to be trusting and all of these other different things, you can still share that. You can like you can start somewhere and this is where you start and eventually you'll get to that point where those things can happen. And so, yeah, I think what I'm saying in a roundabout way is that I am I'm learning to be a friend um, in a genuine sense because people have shown me genuine friendship and I'm finally having that moment and that's very beautiful. Um, and I'm learning how to not suffer alone or in isolation, how to go through something, but still get through it, not just go through it and like ram my head through it, but to get through it and to allow life in and not let like this practice isn't my IV drip anymore. Do you know what I mean? You know, when you're on a steady drip of something and you're being fed something and you need it to recuperate and you need it to survive and to get better. I have needed this practice for such a long time, but today was evidence that I don't need it. I want it and I show up for it because it matters to me and because I care. And I will continue to do that because it matters to me and I care, but I don't need it. Without it, there is no without it because it is part of me and I am part of it and I am the home for it like I am the vessel for it it is not the vessel for me I hope that makes sense anyway it is nearly 1 30 now um and I think yeah I am going to go to my room I'm gonna pack my bag for tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna drive down to my friends and spend some time with him um spend some time with my other friend who I saw today we're going to go chill at a pub and just meet up with a bunch of people who are all suffering the same loss at the moment. I'm very excited to see them because I've missed them and it's always good to see them. Unfortunately, it's under these circumstances, but I think the best thing we can all do at this moment is be there for each other and go through this together. And yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll be there for tomorrow and the day after. I'm not sure how much I'll record just because I'm not sure how much I'll be wanting to record and I'm not sure what my practice is going to look like during that time if I'm completely honest. I will probably merge tomorrow which is Friday and Saturday's videos together um, so you may not see an upload from me tomorrow but yeah I will pack my bag for that now. I will clean my room just to make sure that I can just like grab my stuff go and come back to a tidy room and I'll edit this video schedule it so that I don't have to worry about this while I'm there. And then when I come back home, I will get back to my practice and maybe learn something in these next couple of days that alters my practice. Although I did wanna say, um, adding in the skipping, I've been watching some podcasts um, recently with just like a lot of information on how to help yourself, other people's journeys, anecdotal evidence, all of that kind of stuff. And someone was saying, if something is working, when you first have a formula and a blueprint, just stick to that. Don't try and change it. Don't try and add things on. Just see how it works. If it goes wrong and you need to change something, then you change it. But don't just keep changing things. And I think what's happened is I've had a system. I'm getting back into my practices. I'm trying to start from a place where I don't feel good. And I have started with meditation. I started with yoga. Then I added skipping. That was good. Um, and I could barely do that morning routine and accomplish all of the things I wanted to do in my day. Even though I was setting the bar kind of high for myself you know, there was something to be wanted for my level of productivity. And then I've done that. I've added all of that together. And then I started to add in a split practice as well. And it's like, I keep altering the plan when really right now I just need to be sticking to the plan. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue doing yoga, which allows me to be flexible and to stretch anyway. On days where I feel like I need a bit more, I'll give myself a little bit more. And on days where I feel like I want to do a split practice, I will do a split practice. However, I'm not going to make it a compulsory appointment that I need to make every single morning that after 
I do a 20, 30, 40 minute yoga session. I now do another 20 minute stretching session on top of that. That is me being mean to myself. And so, yeah, even though it feels loving because I do want to achieve the splits, I can do that and I can go about that in another way that doesn't put so much pressure on me and make me kind of dread how much I have to achieve before I can even start my day. And so, yeah, this part of the video has been a bit long, but I feel like it wasn't wasted rambles. It was, I was saying something. And so I hope you've enjoyed everything today. Um, I'm going to include some clips of Sophie. She was amazing. She's so talented and her voice is so beautiful. Like, so just very unique, but also clear, like literally angelic and strong. I can't, I, I love singers. I love lyrics. I love music. If you know me, you already know. But when it's like, I don't know. When it's somebody that you know, and she doesn't always, like, when I first met her, I got to know her through English literature, she was on my uni course, and um, we would talk about fashion and other things like that, spirituality, things like that. She, I knew she sang, I heard her music before and I knew she sang well, but you know, till somebody sings in front of you live, you don't really know how good their voice is, like, her voice is amazing, she's really, really good, and so yeah, I'm really excited to put clips of her singing in, so you can all hear her and, and love her as much as I love her, and yeah. That's all for today. Um, I hope everyone had a good day. I hope life is treating you kind. And I hope that if you watch this video to the end, you found something in it that was of use and importance to you. And I appreciate you. Bye-bye.